<laughs> Hello, um, this is a demonstration of the Ninja Trader risk management software that we've created. Uh, most of our software is mostly for CTrader, but we decided to do one for Ninja Trader. And this product's been around a while, but we've actually fixed some bugs that were in there and created a user guide for everyone. So before I continue, I'm just going to show you something quickly. If you're watching this video on YouTube, um, I just want you to know you can actually watch it in um, 1440p HD. What I mean by that is, if you go to the bottom right, just click on this icon here, make sure the quality of the video is 1440p HD, so you get the best quality picture, okay? So I'm just going to get rid of this one now, because this was for the... Um, previous product, drag that out of the way. So this is Ninja Trader. Now I'm going to give you a quick demo of the product and then I'm going to show you where you can get it. Um, so this is assuming that you've actually downloaded it from our website and installed it onto Ninja Trader. We have got a 14 day free trial as well. Um, so if, if you've already installed it onto Ninja Trader and we give instructions how to do that, just go to new at the top and go to click Algo Alarm Manager. Now click next to go through a little license verification. Now this is the product here. And I've already got it connected to the SIM account, I'm just running a SIM account now. So I'm just going to quickly go through the various tabs and features of this tool. Now, if the window is a little bit small, sorry about that, you could probably zoom in to actually view the product itself. Um, so what I'll do is start from the dashboard, go through all the features and then go and go tour for all the others. Sorry. OK, so on the dashboard, what you can see here is the balance. This just shows you your current balance that you've got in your account. Um, here you can choose the different types of margins for futures margins. You've got various ones you can choose from and that will change what you see for your margin. Um, realized profit and loss. So that just tells you what your realized profit and loss is so far. Um, daily profit and loss. So what this will do is if you're, um, you've set yourself a daily target or you want to know how much money you've made for the day, only for today, that will show it in there. And it resets each day. So each new day, it starts again. Now, some limitations with the Ninja Trader version, which means that when you start Ninja Trader, your daily profit and loss starts then. But if you leave it running, it will just roll over to the next day. Um, so here we've got margin at the bottom that's showing. Equity here shows you your current equity, which is um, takes into account all your open and closed positions, um, winners and losers at the same time. The little percentage you see above that is red, so it means it's minus 0.01%. This oh, it's now one has gone up. So what it would, would have meant was that it shows what percentage of your equity is changed from your balance, whether you're up or down. Um, your trade status. It'll tell you how many losing trades you've got, how many pips you're down, what your unrealized net profit is for that position. If you've got five positions, it will show you the gross unrealized net profit for all five positions. You've got the same here for total winners, but we don't have any showing at the moment. You've got monetary loss. Now these gauges here, I haven't got two positions open at the moment, but this will show you the ratio in a graphical view of winners versus losers. And you can also see the percentage value there that would show it there. And on the right hand side here, it's got total positions that you've got open and your total pips and total unrealized net profits. OK, so the last one on the draw on the dashboard here is your drawdown risk. Now, again, it shows you in a graphical view, shows you a gauge here, um, depending on your drawdown, the calculation of the pips. This shows you what your sorry to cash in what I'm talking about there. This shows you what your drawdown is. So how much of your equity is below your account balance? So how much of at risk you are at that moment in time? OK, so how much cash you've got at risk as a percentage, it will actually show you it as a percentage at the bottom here, as well as the dial. When you go far, you actually see the dial go up. OK, sorry about that. I was trying my best to actually explain that then. Um, OK, so that's the dashboard. Now, what I'm going to do now is go to the account alarms. So on the account alarms, you've got various op options to choose from. Um, at the top here, you've got mar when your margin level drops below a certain percentage you've got various events that you can use. You can do a pop-up message, a voice and pop-up message. So we have got a voice pack you can install and it, in clear English, it will say something like one of your trades are at risk or your margin level has dropped below a certain value or anything like that. So it's quite useful. Um, you can send an email message. You can send an automated, sorry, an instant Telegram message. So if you're using Telegram, this has got it built in um, and this will allow you to send Telegram messages directly to your mobile phone telling you that um, when your account is at risk um, or it needs looking at. And also we've got various um, trading options. So you can close all your positions, close only the winners or close um, only the users. Now, if you choose a pop-up message, you've also got this option here to edit the um, message that you want to do for your pop-up message. Let me just exit that one. I'll open this one, it'll be easier. So in here, it's got um, your drawdown is exceeded by, where you've got the curly braces in the zero, that's where the value goes. So you can change this text to anything you want. 
as long as you put in curly braces and a zero at any point, you'll actually put the value that um, your draw drawdown is exceeded by or whatever the actual value is. So each of these has got their own ones to actually edit, okay? Um, we have got a user guide, so if I'm not uh, gonna cover everything or you're a little bit confused, if I'm going too fast, um, there is a user guide and I'll show you at the end, <clears throat> which will actually explain it so you can actually spend your time and actually look at it, okay? So you've got various options here. I'll quickly go through them. You've got when your max drawdown risk exceeds a certain percentage, when your balance is increased by a certain percentage, when your balance is decreased by a certain percentage, when your net profit has achieved a certain value, when your net profit uh, losing more than when your net profit is losing more than a certain value, when your account equity drops below a certain value, um, and when your daily profit target has achieved. Now, the daily profit target is useful because you can set it here and say, I want a daily profit target. This is useful if you're either manual trading or if you're running an automated trading system and you um, run this tool on a virtual private server. Um, so in the background, your robots, uh, your strategies, sorry, are running and opening trades. When you've got $100 worth of profits, you can then just say, close all positions. So as soon as you've got your daily profit target, you close all the positions. You could also just do it so that it um, only closes all your winners, or you can send a message, a telegram, an email, or a pop-up if you're still working on your desktop. Now to turn your these events on, you just click the on there. Now it's on, you see at the bottom there, it says alert manager is running and monitoring your account. So in this case is, um, you've got to leave this tool running, by the way. You can't turn it off. I'm at $50, $60 at the moment. But when it would have got to $100, um, it would close all positions. So I go to the dashboard. You can see I'm actually um, $60 unrealized net profit at the moment. So if this was to go to $100, this would close all the positions. Okay, so that's account alarms. If I go to trade activity alarms, actually what I'm going to do is not close it. If it does go there, I'm going to try and just do it to 70. I have to turn it off first. Um, when it gets to 70, I'm going to change it down to 50 now. I just want a, a pop-up message, okay, just in case it does get there while I'm demonstrating the other stuff. And then I can demonstrate the pop-up message as well. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is the trade activity alarms. So on your trade activity alarms, you can choose um, for anything that happens regarding trade. In this case, is um, at a certain time of the day, you want to close all the positions. So um, this didn't work. Is it $60, $70 and it hasn't, oh no, sorry. I was just sitting there, sorry, I was going mad. I was just wondering why that alert didn't happen. And I just thought that I was a bug in the system and I was just panicking myself there. A bit stupid really. It's got daily profit as achieved. Obviously the daily profit means when you close the position. So this won't happen. Um, this would be um, when your net profit is achieved. Um, so that wouldn't have happened actually. So confusing myself there, obviously I was looking at the case where daily profit target means all the positions have closed. It's realized profit, not unrealized. There you go. So I, I just did the right one there. So in this case is the alarm did trigger. It just said your unrealized net profit has now reached an amazing value of $50. And then you can actually, once that happens, I can say close uh, losers, close winners. If I click close winners, do you want to close? Yes. And it's actually closed the position or it should have close all winners. Order filled. Okay, my mistake, I just click close all losers. I'm making lots of mistakes today, sorry about that. So in this case is when it does happen and you do get that pop-up, you do have the option to actually click close all winners or close all losers and it will close it. The reason this is a bit messy, this text up here, I'll show you if I go to it, it's what I actually wrote in here. Um, you're, as it's an amazing value. If you wanna change that, you just correct the spelling, click save and it would have corrected that, okay? So now it would be correct. That's why it came up with a different message. So it's probably good that I'm making a few mistakes. Um, we're only human. So, okay, so I go to the trade activity alarms now. So again, uh, in this case, the first one I was talking about is when um, you can close all positions at a certain time of the day. This is when say the markets are closing and you don't want any nasty surprises when they reopen. Um, so you can close all the positions and at the same time you can send a pop-up um, email, voice message or a telegram message. You can also close, uh, sorry, when there are an X amount of losing positions. So if you're trading on your automated trading system and you've got 10 losing positions, you might want to close them all. You also might want to send a telegram to your mobile phone or an email or a pop-up or any one of these events if you're losing positions. Uh, the other one we've got is when there are so many winning positions, you might want to know about that. Uh, when there are three consecutive losers, this normally means that your automated trading system is coming to the end of its lifetime or whatever, or the markets are changing. And if you get consecutive losers, then maybe it's time to look at your charts or stop your automated strategy or stop trading. Um, when there are so many winning trades, again, you can have an event fired. 
um, when any position is so many pips down. So you might want to know about runaway positions. Uh, for example, you might have a trade that's you don't know, you know, you could be at work or not looking at your computer and it could be 100 pips down and it will send a message to your mobile phone with a telegram instant message telling you that this is happening. Um, also, you might want to know whether there's any trade with so many pips up. So you're for gaining pips. You might want to know about that. And the last one is when there are so many positions without a stop loss. So if you want to know if there's positions running in the background without a stop loss, you might you know, want to send yourself a message or anything like this. OK, so that's that. That's the account alarms, the trade activity alarms and now settings. Settings is pretty straightforward. You can do your email set up here. Uh, you put email address in, click send email, test an email, and it will tell you if your email is all set up and configured. I take it you'd have to set up your email in NinjaTrader as well. So if you're not receiving an email, make sure you've configured it with NinjaTrader to do that. Uh, Telegram service, you need to find your bot token and chat ID. Chat ID is not easy to find, um, but we've got videos and um, articles um, that will really help you out in finding your chat ID. We give you full information to find that, so it shouldn't be too difficult. And again, you can send your test message to make sure it's working. Now down here, you've got NinjaTrader accounts. Now you can have various accounts, whatever you connect to up here with NinjaTrader, make sure that you also connect to the right account down here. You click load account. It will load it in. And the last one is options, always on top. Um, this means that the window, if you click off of it and you click around the chart, it's always above everything else. OK, the log, that just tells you events that are fired. In this case, we had an event fired that um, unrealized net profit target has been reached. And on the about, this is downloads the voice pack if you want it, opens the voice folder where the voice files are located, opens up your settings folder where your settings files are located, uh, visit us, how to set up your Telegram account, and the user manual. Now the user manual, oops, I need to update that. That's wrong. It's no, it's not a bug report one. I'll make sure that's fixed before this um, goes out. But your user manual, I'll show you now. So that's the la that's all I wanted to show you on the actual application. What I'm going to do now is just show you who we are. So this is us. We're Click Algo. We do specialize just in C Trader, but we're starting to do more and more Ninja Trader products. Now it's not listed or easily found this product because it's the only one I think we've done for Ninja Trader. So you just type in Ninja Trader. Uh, Ninja, and you'll come up with it here. Now, this is the product here. Um, so you can download a trial version or you can add it to cart and purchase it. Now, if you scroll down, it's got um, some self sales bump about it. But at the same time, we've got links that go to um, a user guide. Now, the user guide was written for C Trader, but pretty much 95 or 99 percent of the features are the same. It's almost identical, just some slight variations. So this user guide will be the same for uh, the Ninja Trader version and the C Trader version. So this will go into more detail about it and what it does and all your trade activity alerts and all the rest of it, okay? So that's that, that shows you how to get it. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to show you. So if you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up, it really helps. If you've got any comments, please add some comments and I'll make sure that I um, update that user guide that's on the About tab so that it shows um, the actual real user guide. So that's it. If you do find any bugs in the system, please just drop us an email and tell us about them. And again, you can download the trial version. Okay, thank you very much.